I am headed off to face the Corrupted Monk. Now the primary combat art I'm going to use here is the Mortal Draw. I'm going to use that a bunch. Now I did this about a dozen times and I tried standing toe to toe against him and I was able to block his attacks, deflect his attacks, but then he does a unblockable attack and it'll either be a sweep, which you got to do a jump counter with, or a thrust, which you want to use the Mykiri counter for. I don't know if it's because I'm 42 years old and my brain just couldn't figure out which one of those attacks he was going to do to properly be able to press the right button for the counter. So I decided to go a different route using the Mortal Draw. I'm going to actually whittle down his health. Now, I start off going toe to toe against him, but a little into this fight, I decided, you know what? Screw it. I am just going to take his health down and not worry about his posture. His posture recharges pretty quick as well. So I'm standing here toe to toe right now, deflecting every attack. I haven't gotten hit. I'm doing some deflections in there. But then he does these unblockables. And again, I don't know if I can't just figure out which one's going to be. That was the sweep, which I should have done a jump and then a jump again, but I missed it. So I decided to kind of like hang back and let's just kind of whittle his health down with the mortal draw. You do a decent amount of damage to his health. And as you can see, he did a jump attack and I went in for the mortal draw and then I'm going to back away. Now, this is actually my first attempt at trying to do this health drain which is why it's not the prettiest and cleanest looking, but it is the easiest and safest way to do it. Now, when he does a series of attacks, whether it's the six hit combo he's doing right now, or he does his jump towards you and lands, uh, after, and after each of those, he has a brief window where he has to recover. And that gives you plenty of time to run in real quick, do a mortal draw, and then back away. So you can see his health is already, well, just a little over half. So that was the strategy I'm going to do. I'm just going to wait for him to kind of recover and then go in with a mortal draw. Again, because it is my first attempt trying to do this method, it's not the cleanest look. And I get a little kind of panicky towards the end. I don't know if that happens to anyone when health starts getting low, you start getting a little bit more careless. There's his jump attack. Now, when he lands after his jump attack, he does kind of a, a sweep on the ground. You want to make sure you're not within range of that. I didn't quite figure that out. And there's his unblockable. You can tell if he's going to do the sweep or if he's going to do the thrust. But the window to be able to do the counter is so slow. And I just wasn't able to process that. Now you don't have to worry about your crosses or anything like that when you're doing the mortal draw. You can do this as many times as you want. This combat art, you initiate the combat art, of course, with L1, R1, press them both. You can, remember, you can only have one combat art equipped at a time. So there he's doing his jump attack. And of course I was right underneath where he was supposed to be. I should have done a well-timed dodge right as he's landing. He's still going to come charging at you, so you're still going to need to block or guard against his melee attacks. Or you can try deflecting, but since I'm going for a health care kill, uh, damaging his posture using deflection isn't critical. Of course, I was right underneath him when he did the, uh, the jump. If you really, really want to just kind of kind of cheese of this and you're not really cheesing it you're using a legitimate tactic of course but just kind of hang back stay as far as you can kind of encourage him to jump at you and then if you just time it right you can just go in for a quick uh, hit and then back out so you can take it a little slower if you'd like i'm just trying to get in there with these quick melee hits there he missed me with the jump attack and there you go Using the mortal draw is one quick, well not quick, but one safe way to defeat the corrupted monk. I hope you guys found this video helpful at all. And uh, if you did, hit the like button. And of course, subscribe.